group of people came to the chairman of the board of Williams Brothers Pipeline in Tulsa, Oklahoma a few years ago, and they had just uh, finished inventing and, and testing and uh, uh, manufacturing fiber optic cable. Now, when you have fiber optic cable, you have a problem, that is that you've got to have right-of-ways in order to be able to lay that cable. Well, along the cable, uh, television companies came along, they yanked up a lot of the right-of-ways in America, and the telephone company had already bought the right-of-ways uh, a century ago, practically, from uh, the railroads. So uh, they were looking for a company who already had right-of-ways in place. They found that company in Williams Brothers Pipeline, an oil transportation company in Tulsa, Oklahoma. John Williams sat at the board that day, at the board table that day with all the other executives in his company, and he listened to this proposal. We make fiber optic cable. It carries a thousand times more information in a, in a second than copper wire does. We want to buy the right of way to lay our cable along with your pipelines and disperse the telecom industry through our fiber optic cable. Well, John Williams said thank you for coming and, and uh, dismissed them and they hadn't any more than reached the lobby before John Williams turns to his executives and says, <laughs> we'll just buy fiber optic cable from them. We'll lay the cable along our own pipeline and we'll be in the telecom business. And that day a company called Willtel was formed, Williams Brothers Telecom. You see, they didn't get in the telecom business when they laid the pipeline. They just took advantage of the opportunity when it came along. Many, many, many stories in business are being told today about people who started a company. Maybe it was a cookie company or maybe it was uh, uh, this or that and the other, some hobbyist company. And they started the company not ever believing it was going to be a big deal, but just hoping they could make a living at it. What I want you to do, if you will, is open your mind to the idea that there are other things that you could be doing. And what is the greatest thing you could be doing? Let me ask you a question. Did the company that you worked for call you in the last week and say, say Sally, what can we do to make your life better? I doubt it, because that's not what companies do. We can help you make your life better if you're willing to listen. Listen, it can't hurt you, just get the facts. Isn't that what uh, Joe Friday said? Just the facts, man, just the facts. Well, that's what we want you to do, get the facts. Take time, get into the discovery mode. Discover what Global Premier Group is all about. And we'll teach you, we'll give you all the information you need to make a really good decision for your life. <music>